Hey everybody, we're down in the Weather Center with Rhonda Shelby on a Wednesday, and uh, no big thunderstorms in my neighborhood in Northeast nope. Poland yesterday, yeah. but we're not out of the woods yet. We're not completely out of the woods, but we're pretty much in the clear for today. What's going on is the center of low pressure we've been watching that's just been basically parked over Oregon and just really not moving much is still parked over southwestern part of Oregon. As a matter of fact, let's take a quick look at it on this um, satellite picture that I have for you. You can kind of see the silhouette of Oregon in the background there and if I just put this into motion there's like a little sort of pinwheel center of circulation that stuck around oh, Brookings uh, maybe just east of Brookings right now with that in place and all this warm moist air in the mid levels of the atmosphere it still means thunderstorms could pop up they just aren't likely to pop up over the valley they're likely to take a path up over the Cascades and possibly see a few of those thunderstorms drift back to the west but a lot of that activity looks like it will stay south of Eugene today. So again, we're not out of the clear. Sometimes you can see um, a, a stray thunderstorm develop in spots, but first we got to get this cloud cover out of here to even have a chance of, at all of seeing some thunderstorms develop um, here in town uh, especially. So let's talk about what's going on weather-wise uh, for the rest of us and for the rest of the week. So here's the thing, if you live in central or eastern Oregon, or the southern Willamette Valley, you have a chance of seeing either showers or thunderstorms today. Rest of us, partly cloudy, still muggy though, and a high of 78. Tomorrow, we could have another chance of thunderstorms over the central mountains, central Cascades. That's a possibility, but I think we're pretty much in the clear with the high of 80 and partly cloudy. And then it just isn't gonna be muggy at all on Friday, up to 77. Although, because that low looks like it's now gonna turn around and head east, we could see some showers out of it Friday oh. morning. So it's a little bit of a complicated forecast. Just be aware that it's not, you know, there is no 0% chance of showers here over the next three days. But there is a 0% chance of showers over the weekend. It looks nice. really nice. We're awesome. going to be back to the seasonal weather. We usually get in July, morning clouds, afternoon sun, high around 80. And oh, it looks yeah. that way through a good portion of, of uh, the first part of next week. Well, I've had some friends up here from uh, Texas and uh, this past few days, and they're like, what's with all the humidity? We thought it was <laughs> a dry heat up here. I know. The humidity level's been running around 60% or so. But, you know, when you really think about it, this is why Texas, Louisiana, all these places, Florida, this is why they get thunderstorms in the afternoon, because they usually have this kind of humidity and then the heat combined with that and some kind of trigger, like an upper level low, and bam, they get their thunderstorms. So we kind of feel like the south today. A little bit. Hopefully it comes back to the Northwest yes. in the next couple of days. All right, yes. Rhonda, that sounds great. We'll check in tomorrow.